welcome back to my channel! In today's video, we are going to be doing a Korean inspired makeup look. I've been watching Pony Syndrome for like, you know, the whole weekend. I think I may be addicted to her videos, but she is so good. Well, she is Korean, so I mean, it's a given fact, but she does Korean makeup and she does tutorials about them. And so I'm gonna try to recreate or like, you know, to make a really easy Korean look that we can all do for our everyday makeup. So Shabna, before we go and start with the tutorial, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel to see more content like this and a lot of other content from. So anyway, without further ado, the intro, Mare. Okay, so actually, I already did my base. No, that felt weird. That felt weird too. Um, <laughs> I already did my base and I actually shaved my eyebrows, so it looks different, a little different today. Na wala yung buntot niya, guys. Buntot na siya. And I tried to make it ganoin, parang straight eyebrows. And actually, my brows are so dark, but I did put uh, what do you call that? Brow gel. Unfortunately, hindi ko alam kung bakit ganoon. Naging kakulay niya rin lang naman yung dati kong buhok. Pero yun ba? It's the best I could do. <laughs> so anyway, um just to give you a small recap of the things I already put on my face. I used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer and then this Milani Conceal Plus Perfect foundation on my face, but I didn't put too much because Koreans like dewy skin, as you guys know. So, kumapapansinyo, my skin is dewy, and it's still showing a lot of my natural skin, if, if it makes it easier to understand that way. But then I use my, it's the Maybelline, from Maybelline. It's my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Pop that under my eyes. And I actually used this flat concealer brush right here and I packed it on like this. I'm gonna show you. So this is how I did it. I just put it where the darkness starts, which is in my soul, char. <laughs> and it's like a light layer of concealer under there. So it's not exactly perfect, but it hides the darkness or the crease. I mean, in certain angles, you can't even see it. So that's the kind of uh, thing Pony does with her face. I mean, she has porcelain pores. Porcelain pores. She has porcelain skin. She's like so perfect. I like, I can't even. I'm so jealous of Korean skin to be quite honest with you. Like, what do you do? How are you so blessed? What's the magic secret? Anyway, uh, let's just move on. Um, now we're going to powder. Powder our faces. We have our air spun right here. Favorite scent out of every powder that I've ever used. This is probably my favorite scent. Whew. Okay, and we're going to lightly dust our face. This is actually quite easy to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Like you could definitely pull this look if you want to go on a date. Kung bet mo lang magpaka pretty, kung marami kang time sa bahay. This is a look you can do in probably 30 minutes. I mean, I could do this in 30 minutes if I wasn't talking so much, but since this is a tutorial, I'm gonna be talking a lot. Hmm. Okay, we have powdered our faces 
and to be quite honest with you it still feels a little tacky i did not layer on the powder to make my face still look dewy moving on so we have our eyes this is my favorite part out of everything honestly and what we're going to do is we're going to try to make an everyday look that you could wear when you go out there with some mulang choriana I'm gonna take my favorite palette, the Jaclyn Hill. Actually, this is not my favorite palette anymore. I have the mini Camerut, but this has the most colors. So we're gonna be using this. We're gonna be using these colors. I'm just gonna point them out to you. So this one. And this one, I'm going to be mixing together. And then this and this, plus these shimmers. But you know what? If you have uh, ways to use less colors than I am right now, girl, go ahead. Ang arte ko lang kasi, kaya ang daming kinemerot ng ano ko. Pero carry naman ng tatlong colors, honestly. But yeah, so starting off, you can actually put concealer on your eyelids. This is the easiest way to prime your lids. Since I'm making this a wearable and, you know, budget-friendly sort of makeup tutorial, let's use the ones that we already have. So I'm gonna be putting concealer on my eye lids. That is going to act like our base. And now we're going to take a brush on it. What do you call again? Oh, an eyeshadow brush. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you guys watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine? That's like my favorite show. And I, I pushed my boyfriend to watch it and he loves it too now, so. Nine-Nine! <sighs> Just had to do that, okay. We are going to take this taupe shade right here and we're going to put that in our crease, but only in the lower part. Lower part of the crease. Again, lower part of the crease. We're gonna focus all the dark colors down here. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. All right. Do you see that? Now, to do the other side and we're back okay so we got the lower half of our crease with the color keep blending until you're happy with the color that you have next is with the same brush we're going to take a lighter transition shade and we're gonna pop that up here we're going to give our crease a little bit of depth so after putting that light transition shade we're going to shift into a little bit of a darker transition shade which is also a warm tone brown and we're going to give our socket more definition actually you can pull it until here to make your this part deeper and your nose a little bit thinner all right so we got that down. Now I want to make this, this, this side a little more darker. So I'm going to add these two colors together. Ooh, so it's actually more of a burgundy look, which I'm loving. Okay, and we're going to pop that once again, keep it down to your lower lash line. I mean, lower crease lower half of your crease now if you do experience some fallout just grab your powder brush and flick 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 so we put that red lower half of the crease okay you guys that's it i love it i love the red I love the burgundy feel of it. Like, it's legit, y'all. So anyway, now that we're done with the upper part, we also have to put the shimmer, which is actually my favorite part. See how easy that was? 
Like there are only several parts to it. So I'm gonna grab this shade, which is like a champagne pink and like a dust of golden champagne. Now we're gonna pop that onto our eyelid and we're gonna try to blend it out. Better to use your fingers for this because honestly, your fingers are good. I meant that in a totally non-sexual way. Don't come at me. Grabbing more and putting it on the other side. There you go. Oh my God, look at that vein. Weird. Okay. So we've popped on the colors on the top layer. Now we're gonna do the bottom line. Koreans love to add depth down there, like under their eyes. And so we're gonna grab a pencil brush. It looks like this. Okay. And we're going to take the same shades of matte that we put on our crease and our lids. Okay. Doing the other side. Make sure to actually connect the colors from up here to down there. So we're gonna grab all of the colors and blend. Honey, the key to this look is the blend. Grabbing, grabbing. Ooh. Okay, so now we got that done. We're going to put a very shimmery shade here. It's one of the things that Koreans love to do. So I'm gonna pay homage to that. Okay, grabbing our Ofra. Ah, ah. This is one of the happiest times that I've ever had in this vlog is when I got this in the mystery box last week. I was like so shocked. Like I've been dreaming of getting this thing for like two years, ever since I watched Nikki tutorials, and now I have it. And it's like for a lower price. Look at that. It's beautiful. <gasps> oh. So anyway, we're going to put, using a really small eyeshadow brush, gonna start here, the inner corners. Make it shine. Shine, shine, shine. Shine, 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 shine. Then we're going to put it here near our tear ducts. Lower lash line. And we're gonna stop in the middle. Okay, we're not gonna push that towards the end. Just there. Cause they really like that pop of, girl, I'm awake kind of eye look. Not sure if it's registering how bright these under eyes are, but they're bright. I cannot go overboard with this because I might look like a strobe light. But anyway, that's what they do with that. Now we're gonna head on to eyeliner. So here's the trick. Koreans like to wing out their eyeliner, but lower, like here. It goes directly from this part straight out, not upward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the line of our eyes and we're just gonna drag it out. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that, okay? Before going in with the liner, I'm gonna be using an eyebrow pencil in the shade, I think this is uh, Ash. And we're actually going to line, this is nasty looking, but we're going to line our inner inner circles, <laughs> the inner lining of our eyes. If you have a brown one, that would also look good. So I'm gonna cry, oh my God. Okay, so once you've done that, you guys, you can simply use, you could use actually a pencil liner to do this or a gel liner or brown eyeliner. In this case, I'm gonna be using a gel liner and so I'm going to start here. It's a really thin layer of eyeliner, you guys. They don't really make it thick. So please watch. The 
The trick to this is to keep it as close to your lash line as much as possible. They don't really like the thick, really black liner in Korea, so it's just basically a line that gives them a different eye shape or like a sexier eye shape if I'm not mistaken. So when you look at me, you can actually see the difference. This side versus this side. Okay, going to the other side. So there you go, we got the liner on. Now we're going to put mascara. So I'm not going to put false lashes today. I'm just gonna curl my lashes up. They like to use two mascaras for some reason because one of them is for lengthening. The other one is for volumizing. So I have two here, I have my MAC one and my other one is my trusty Maybelline Lash Sensational. So I'm going to apply my MAC first. Let me get that in there. Ouch, I just put it in my eyeball. Mmm, oh my god, I should not have blinked. Okay, the mascara is yet to dry. <laughs> don't forget, uh, don't blink too much when your mascara isn't done yet. Because, honey, it's gonna get really bad. So, I'm gonna let that dry off. And then I think I'm gonna put um, eyeliner again. Because I'm not happy with how it looks using the gel. I want a blacker sort of look for this so while that is drying let's let that do its thing we're going to start with our blush and our everything else so i'm going to start with actually contouring a little bit of my face we're going to use our brush contour brush just a very light layer because koreans don't really do don't really do this they like a white flat blushy face so just a little bit my skin looks so bad i don't know why look at that it's so patchy my actual skin something is wrong with my skin today like i'm so sorry you guys Ooh. okay so like a le thin 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 layer then down my nose. We're gonna use this as contour. Wow, my tongue is a nightmare. Then we gon' use the blush, okay? So I'm gonna use my MAC one. And then on top of that, because they do like the dewy look, we're going to use this Pixie by Petra on top of this one. So let's start with this one first. Just gonna lightly dust it on my cheeks. Now, um, Western makeup, they usually do it just here. But for Koreans, they like to go down until their actual cheeks, here. And then they push it back like that. So I'm gonna try to do that. Cause it makes you really look naturally rosy. If that makes sense. So do that on the other side. And then you push it towards the middle of your face to make it look like you're drunk. A little bit of a drunk blush situation right here. Okay. Okay. Mm. Now we're gonna go ahead with the pixie dust. Oh, pixie dust. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it actually has like a shimmer to it. So I'm just gonna put that on top like up here to give this a more glowy sort of vibe to it. Top of that, not too much. But I do love blushes, like they make me look so alive. So there, now you got the blush on. We are going to try to put highlighter now. 
Now, I'm going to be using the Ofra once again because I love this. So, I'm going to be taking... Swirl it, swirl it. Tuck, tuck. And we're going to put that on the apples of our... Apples, but I'll join. Joke. Um, the highest point of our cheekbones. Oh my god, look at that glow. Huh? Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. This isn't by Fenty, but I love it. Sorry, Riri. Can't afford your products. But I do love Fenty Beauty. So, anyway. Putting that at the tip of our nose, just the tip. Ew. Okay. Going to concentrate that in the middle most and up here to make your nose more pronounced. And then your chin and here. Okay. Sinipun. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna grab <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. Dami ko ng wrinkles, no? Oh, kakaganyan ang mukha ko eh. Kasi nanan ko rin talaga to. Tapos pala, don't forget to moisturize. Kaya na ko pa dapat to ginawa. Pero ngayon ko na naalala. So mag lip balm kayo. Mag lip gloss kayo. Gawin nyo lahat. <laughs> okay. <sighs> anyway, grabbing our Fenty Beauty eyeliner. I think paubos na to. Can you guys hear that? It's not even moving anymore, I think. So anyway, I'm gonna touch up the eyeliner and then I'm gonna go back in. Okay, you guys. So I think I'm happy with the eyeliner that I did. I think it's, ew, it's not perfect, but it is there. I mean, yeah, that is it. Okay, I think I'm gonna wing it out a little bit for this side. Okay, well, the last step is with the lipstick. So we're just gonna be wearing a reddish, corally lipstick and Koreans love to wear their lip tint. So I have, <laughs> having indigestion right now. I have this Tony Molly lip tint with me. Pop that just in the middle of your lip, like so. Wait for it to dry. And uh, if you have like uh, a velvety lipstick, like this Peri Para Ink Velvet Lippy, you can pop that into your lips, onto your lips, not into them. I'm gonna eat them. Just do this. And it balances out the red. So you have like a gradient going on. I'm pretty sure you don't really see it right now because the lighting is like crap. crap. But yeah, there you go. Pretty sure I'm not believable, but <laughs> I'm gonna tie my hair into something a little more appropriate for Koreans, such as something on top of my head or something. But I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna be showing you the finished look close up. Ooh, 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 before I forget, you actually have to put brown or black liner in your inner corners here because it's gonna make your eyes look a little tinier than usual. So I'm gonna grab my little brush right here and I'm going to put brown slash black eyeliner like here in your inner eye yeah okay i don't know if you can see the difference but it's there <laughs> okay anyway guys i forgot to do my hair give me a second be back in a while and we're back i like this okay so i just basically lightly curled my hair i don't even know if it looks good but this is pretty popular in korea nowadays so I just did like a wavy hair type. I'm kind of feeling it. I like it. Okay. So anyway, guys, here is a closer look. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna try to make a better video of the look itself in three, two, one. And that, you guys, is where this vlog ends. I hope you guys liked this look. I really appreciate it better with a different lighting. Like, I look like a different person, honestly. But I love it. <laughs> and actually, it's wearable for everyone. So I hope you guys can recreate this look. And I would love to see it on all of you. Tag me on Instagram if you ever want to make this look again. Thank you guys for watching.